Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over part 14 of the warehouse design series. And in this part, we're actually going to be putting fire extinguishers in place inside the warehouse. So depending on your munis municipality or your local government, you are going to need to have some fire suppression slash fire extinguishers. We've gone over some of the fire suppression stuff with the pump room. And this one, we are actually going to put fire extinguishers out on the floor. So with that being said, should be a pretty quick video, shouldn't be too difficult, but let's get into it. Real quick, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. This gives me a good idea how well the videos are doing, how well you guys like them. If you find the video helpful or you like it, give it a like down below. If you want to see anything else done in AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section. And if you think you know someone who would find this video helpful, give it a share as well. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing we're going to do is we actually want to create the fire extinguisher itself. So you can do this a couple different ways. What I'm going to do is I am just going to take a circle because they're typically cylinders. And we're going to create a tiny little guy right here. I'm going to make a four inch radius, eight inch diameter. And that is going to be our fire extinguisher. Now, if you want, you can go find a block online. They do have some. Um, they're a little bit more detailed, a little bit, you know, maybe better in terms of the way they look. But for this facility, we don't need something that detailed. We just need to show that they're there because we're actually going to turn the layer off once they are in place. So what we're going to do also is we're going to hatch fill this just to make it a little bit prettier. There we go. And we're going to escape. All right. So now that we have our fire extinguisher, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring it out here and move it. And we're going to put a bigger circle around it. So in our municipality or the municipality that I typically work in, you need a hundred or you need 75 feet between each fire extinguisher. Every 75 feet, you are going to need a fire extinguisher somewhere in the building. I need to be able to access one within that distance. So the way we're going to do that is, and this is where AutoCAD actually becomes really useful if you're in the design stages or you're an engineer or a safety person and need to know where the fire extinguishers need to be placed. We're going to come to the fire extinguisher and we're going to find the middle of it and we're going to come out 75 feet. That is the radius. And as you can see here, it's yellow. We're going to actually turn it to red as well. But here now you have a radius for fire extinguishers. What the radius allows you to do is overlap this circle right here to show that it's 75 feet from any given point for the fire extinguisher. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to both grab this and copy the fire extinguisher itself. And we are going to copy it and we're going to come down here to the center of the fire extinguisher and we're going to start placing them. So I want one, we're going to start putting them up against the walls on these columns right here. Just come out a little bit. And then we need another one that overlaps right in this forklift charging area. So we're going to grab that and put that at that column right there. We're going to bring another one down right here. And again, we're kind of just looking at the columns. And then we are going to put some at the dock doors as well. And we're going to put them at the dock doors right here. Again, you just need to have that 75 feet. And this is what the radius is for. We'll come down, see if this works right here. Nope, that won't work. So we're going to put another one right here. Z that. It's going to go right here. And then we're going to have another one down here. And again, this will cover all your bases to make sure you have enough on site. We're going to come right, call it right here. And they don't need to be on the poles. We're going to have another one. We'll go right here. The poles make it easier just for marking capabilities. We're going to put another one right here by this door. And then as you can see here, we have done the outline of the building. You'll notice that there is a massive area in the middle, this gap area, that doesn't have any fire extinguishers. Based on where you're at, you don't necessarily need fire extinguishers in the rack. 
because this area is not available for personal or pedestrian use, there is no need to have a fire extinguisher in the middle. So what we're going to do instead, and again, it doesn't need to be covered in the rack. The rack is an exemption. What we're going to do is we're going to actually add a couple of these fire extinguishers. We're going to copy it again, and we're going to add it to the middle or sorry, the end, excuse me, the end of a couple of these racks. So we're going to go right here. We'll come down to this one right here. And we'll come down to this one right here. And then we'll come over to the same one. So we'll do one right here. one right here to blend it out and then one more on this end right here and as you can see your area in the rack is more covered now we are also going to add one right up here against this pole just to cover this area right here which was not covered previously so now the only area that isn't covered by fire extinguishers is going to be this tiny little center area and another thing to point out too Forklifts also contain fire extinguishers typically. Lift trucks contain fire extinguishers. So if there's a fire in the aisle, there will also be a forklift with a fire extinguisher that can either be there at that aisle or drive down the aisle to extinguish it. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to take out the distance circles or radius that 75 feet you need between all the fire extinguishers. We're going to take that out of the drawing. We're going to put it on its own layer because we still want to be able to reference it when we need to if we're talking to maybe a city official to explain to them or show them how we took the measurements. But we want to keep the fire extinguishers in there and take the circles out. So what we're going to do first is delete this. Next, we're going to come up here and we're going to go to Layer Properties. And we're going to right click and add a new layer. And what this layer is going to be uh, named is, uh, we'll call it fire extinguisher distance actually capitalize e there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to take this off we are going to go to the fire extinguisher distance we're going to make that the primary layer we're going to unlock it Then, since it's the primary layer, we're going to come here, add the circles. We're going to click the select similar. It selected all the circles. And now we are going to come up to the layer, go to fire extinguisher distance. And they are now part of that layer. So what we're going to do here is we are going to turn that off so they are not visible anymore. Turn current layer off. And as you can see, we have the fire extinguishers that exist here still, but we do not have the distances surrounding them. So again, this allows us to have the fire extinguishers in the building. The distances are there if we want to reference them, if we need to pull them up for anyone, if they're asking questions, but we can take them off and just display the fire extinguishers in the building as they are. All right, so that's going to wrap the video here. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments section. Subscribe again if you want to. Leave a like down below if you want to. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.